we're debating between uh, keeping our RV and getting a trailer and what the benefits of each one were and that you know I tried to sell this RV and I started crying and I couldn't let go of it because I am so attached to this RV so we're gonna start tearing it apart and see if we can rebuild it I don't know we might end up being in the dump and not make it but check it out so we ordered um, some stainless steel uh, aluminum like plating stuff thingamajiggy that I don't know how to describe and we're gonna cover the back and then let's take a look what we're doing with the inside okay so when we had the accident the bikes went through the back there so there are big holes so we filled it with that foam which was a great five dollar fix and we have behind that big piece of wood we kind of patched um, other pieces of wood just to hold everything in place right now and there's plexiglass for the window but we're gonna first try to take up all this bed you can kind of see how the beds now at like in a 30 degree angle it used to be straight at 90 or maybe it's 60 degrees it's all shifted so we're gonna take this apart and see what we can work with uh, I think we're gonna cut that dresser right there because the top part's great and it's good storage and as much as I wanted to put in something new it's just better to reuse what we have because we're trying to practice as much sustainability as possible right all right let's see what we can do of course I chose to do this the day before a snowstorm is supposed to hit it's supposed to rain so we can't let it get uh, too much water in but then we have a week of sun and so we're gonna try to get it so we're ready to make some uh, changes right when we have some sunshine again all right so what you have left is the remnants of my amazing jerry rigging or uh, Mexican ingenuity, whatever you want to call it. Um, Robin didn't give me much of a budget to work with, so I had to use pieces of wooden slats, and I stole a bracket off the chair. Now, the first part of all that of this... That was when our RV got... Yeah, that's when we got rear-ended. Um, and then I used a foam, which is amazing product. I know it's probably bad for the environment, but it stopped uh, the air from getting in and the water from getting in. And now we we'll want to take it all apart, take gut everything out and start from scratch and start rebuilding the bed in the frame and make it look pretty again. Well, as pretty as we can make it for no match style. This, this is too... <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, my arms. From black. <laughs> Uh, there's no way I'm gonna make this straight. Wait, wait, I'm not gonna be. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> okay. Why does it have to be so long? Dress is hurt this long. I think that hacksaw would work better. Give me dry a saw first. It's coming off. I'm gonna smack myself in the face. <laughs> it's coming off. Everything. We're 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 getting it. Everything's going going out. We're gonna try to reuse what we can, but. Goodbye, Isabel's bed. Oh look it. Do you? That's where those went. There's so much food stuck between, look at here, the table and the counter. We thought there was a screw, but it's just 
like nasty food are getting stuck here. We're gonna like floss it it's between the teeth. Maybe there is one more screw left. No? No. <laughs> that's it's so like, gross. Uh, that's not, yeah, that's, that's disgusting. Seriously, we need the crowbar. <laughs> One day we're just gonna rip everything out and I don't know when we were about to sell it I thought well I didn't get my chance to rip everything out so I thought we'd rip everything out first but the problem is you rip one thing out then you have to rip the next thing so I was a little bit like oh, maybe this is salvageable even though one burner doesn't work the ovens broken the microwave's broken the sink is disgusting look at the cabinet all of this this is all just going out we're gonna start with a clean slate and who knows it might actually turn out Nice. It's kind of crazy all the things you find under your sink when you pull things apart. Pot lid, gum wrapper. We don't even chew gum. A rolling pin. Oh, back there I found the plunger to the juicer that I broke because I didn't have the plunger. What else? Lots of money. How we have to do it when we don't have a uh, steel saw. Why don't you look that up? Oh, you're much better than me. We need to look in here and see how bent this metal frame is. So I think we can still build around it, but uh, instead of like putting, we're going to have to put plywood a few inches away and put in some maybe some insulation in between just so that we have one flush side and then this um, to work around. Or we're going to go look, maybe there's some foam we can just do on the inside. It's hard to get this piece out. Or not. <laughs> what do you think the RV? It's going to be nice, maybe. <laughs> We might do like blue on the floor. What are you doing? Mom's destroying everything, son. Everything? Yeah, everything. There you go. Here's Paul. Got it. Paul poop. Oh. Can we share a poop tank? Robin always throws everything but the kitchen sink to me. Happy. This is why you shouldn't eat bacon. Mm -hmm. Or honestly, you leave it open so when you can eat it. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, we sure This was not my idea, but I think it might work out. Yeah, totally right. <laughs> no faith, no faith in me! Alright! Don't take the propane. You don't want to take the whole thing out of one. Well, how? That one's so stuck on. Day three, 
day three, we pulled all the cabinets off, so we're ready to paint those. We probably won't paint them for a couple days, though. We got all the blinds removed. We're getting close to getting down to the skeleton. We still have to figure out our dilemma for the back, so I'm kind of stalling, and we're trying to decide if we want to make this like purely just a shell where we sleep in and go completely solar, and I think we're leaning towards that because we rarely have hookups anyways, and you know, half the time we do dishes, we're trying to limit the amount of water so we do dishes outside. So we're thinking that this might just turn into like really comfortable living space, but no more water and stoves and all that stuff. Held on by like two brackets, my bed for three years. <laughs> about keeping the floors or not because the slide only a little bit showed but when we got the slide out there are so many tears in the floor that we decided to rip it out so there goes our flooring i guess now we gotta learn how to floor 